open heavens on the go. Sunday, November 28th, 2021. Topic, who is your real enemy? Memory verse, Romans 8, 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Bible reading, Psalm 35, 1-7. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. The message. Does your enemy have any legitimate claim against you? Are you sure your adversary does not have a genuine reason to attack you? These are questions you must answer before inviting God, the great ally, to come to your aid in the battle of life. Requesting divine intervention against your enemies will be counterproductive if you are the real enemy of yourself. How can one be an enemy of himself or herself? The answer is in today's memory verse. You can be against yourself when you break divine laws and this has its consequences. An example is in Malachi 3, 8-9. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? in tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Anyone who refuses to pay their tithes is robbing God. What are you doing that is taking you away from your maker, the one who is supposed to be your unfailing ally? You must answer this question before inviting God to be your ally so you wouldn't be inviting someone you have taken as an enemy. That will be the greatest irony of all. Many times I have told my children that there is only one person who can be against us when God wants to be for us, and that is our very selves. The nobleman said to the unprofitable servant in Luke 19.22, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. We can also create enmity with the greatest ally when we abuse God's temple, either by sexual immorality or indecent dressing. 1 Corinthians 3.17 says, God will destroy anyone who destroys his temple. Your dressing can destroy another person, and when that happens, you create empty between yourself and God. Thus, there is no way God can come to your rescue in the time of adversity. This is why you must ensure that your friendship with God is not in doubt at any time. This is possible when you accept Jesus as your Lord and forsake all sinful habits. If you are already born again, continue to live holy. When you do, God will fight for you and humiliate your enemies in ways you could never have imagined. Beloved, I beseech you, do not be an enemy to yourself 
and ensure you are always on the side of God. Action point. Examine yourself and make sure the greatest ally is not only your God, but your friend also. Examine yourself and make sure the greatest ally is not only your God, but your friend also. Bible reading in one year. Amos 5 to 9. In for today. Rock of ages cleft for me. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.